Hey, what's going on, everybody? Have some more hospital data for you today. This is some survey data collected by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. We have five objectives that we're going to walk through, analytics objectives. First, let's take a look at the data set. We have, let's see, 39,000 records, roughly. This is uh, hospital survey data for 4,000 hospitals. Here's how it's broken up. So we have Abbeville Area Medical Center. Here are the survey questions right here in column H. And here is the mean score for each of those questions. How many surveys were completed and what the response rate, how many people turned back in a survey after they were given one. So let's jump back over to our objectives and check this out. Show the worst 20 performing hospitals based on overall score. All right, so if we look down in our questions, just at Abbeville, let's see, we have a sub question called overall hospital rating right here. So we need to extract that for each hospital and find the worst 20, the lowest 20. So let's throw this all on a pivot table. Control A, insert pivot table. Let's put it on a new worksheet. Let's pull in hospital names to the row field. This gives me a unique showing of every hospital name. Let's pull in question across the top and score for values. Let's make that an average score. Number with two decimal places. Okay, and here we're seeing all the survey questions. We only want the overall score. So let's go to our column labels, unselect all, and let's only select overall hospital rating. There we go. We don't need a grand total. We can get rid of that. Okay, there is hospital rating for 3,800 hospitals. Let's sort it first from low to high, and we'll get our worst. Let's just count 20 down. There are, there is 20. And that is our worst 20 hospitals by overall score right there. Let's name it overall score. Worst. And we're going to come back to this. That's why I'm leaving this off to the side. But that answers question one. Question two, the director of patient services believes that hospitals with lower survey response rates have lower overall score. Okay, looking back in our data set, we have, here's response rate uh, expressed as a percent. And again, we're gonna be looking at overall hospital rating. So let's create a separate pivot table, insert pivot table. Let's put it on yet another new sheet. Let's put hospital name in here, question across the top, score, and let's get rid of all the questions except overall rating, just like last time. Get rid of grand total and survey response rate. I'm going to pull that into values. Let's make it a percent, average, and then a percent. Okay, so there we have each hospital, its overall score, and the response rate percent for the surveys. So to check if one influences the other, there's, there's two ways I can do this. So first, let's throw this into a scatter plot. Um, if you've watched a few videos, you know I'm fond of looking at things this way. So let's just highlight all the data. We don't need headings or anything at this point. We're just going to do a quick, quick look. Insert scatter plot. Okay, what do we have here? Response rate percent. Oh, we're getting scores over 100. That is, we need to back up and fix something. I'm going to undo until all that is gone. And see, here we have sum of score. We need average. Average of score. Okay, let's try that again. 
Again, I'm going to paste this data off to the side just as values. Let's highlight all of it. Insert. Scatterplot. There we go. Okay, across the horizontal axis, we have the score, overall hospital score. And the vertical axis, we have the response rate in percent. Um, we see scores really don't go, go below 60, so let's clip that off by formatting axis and setting a minimum. Let's just set 50 to give us some breathing room. All right, so it looks to me like the higher your response rate is, the higher your hospital score is going to be. What I also like to do is just select one of these data points, right click, add a trend line. It just fits a best fit line through all of our points. And that is telling us there is a positive correlation as response rates increase, you will tend to get an increase in scores. So that would be our answer to objective two. How does the response rate percent for the 20 worst with overall, as according to overall score, compared to the response rate for the top 20 um, for overall score? So let's build up a table one more time from scratch. I'm doing these over and over in separate pivot tables just so you can see um, kind of A to Z how they're put together. So let's do hospital name. We want question. Let's get rid of all the questions except score, overall rating. Let's pull score in the values, average. Remove, and they want response rate percent. Let's do average. Is it percent? Okay, again, let's get our bottom 20 and top 20. So first we'll do our bottom 20. So I'm sorting hospital rating from low to high. And I want to pull in right there is to our top 20. I'll put that over there with the headings. And I'm going to sort again on hospital score from high to low. So now we'll get our top 20. So let me label this bottom 20. Now let's get our top 20. All right, let's grab those headers one more time. And let's call this top 20. And I'm going to make these columns a little bit smaller so they're easier to read. I know it's cutting some of the text off. All right, let's just calculate an average score. Whoop, excuse me, let's do an average response rate for the top 20. Let's label this top 20 average response rate percent. And let's do the same for the bottom 20. Yeah, that's interesting. So let's do an average percent, percent, bottom 20 response percent. And this kind of dovetails with the scatter plot we just looked at. At the top 20 performing hospitals in terms of overall score, they had a response rate of 56%, meaning 56% of people that were handed a survey turned one back in. Um, by contrast, only 20% of those turned the survey back in at the bottom scoring hospitals. So according to our question, um, yeah, it does definitely make a difference in overall score. Response rate definitely matters. All right, number four, the director of patient services believes overall hospital rating is strongly linked to whether or not the area around the room was quiet. Is this true? So we can go back. You know what? Let's just make a pivot table from the beginning again. So we have a question here called quietness, and we want to look at that in relation to overall hospital rating. 
Let's do it again. Control A, select all the data, insert, pivot table. OK. Let's do hospital name. Pull in question across, across the top, scores for the value. And we only care about quietness and overall hospital rating. Don't need a grand total. Get rid of that. And let's check this out. I'm going to do another scatter plot. You cannot run scatter plots on pivot tables, so that's why I'm pasting it out to the side, uh, just as kind of a scratch table to make my chart. So let's check this out. Let's highlight all of our data. Insert, scatter plot. And we did it again. We need to average the score, not sum it. All right, let's go back. Average. Let's overwrite our scratch table with the correct data. All right, let's check it out. All right, so there is, on one axis we have overall hospital score, on the other we have quietness score. Neither is below showing response uh, percents below 50, so let's clip the minimum bounds of the axis at 50. Let's do it to the other one. Yeah, there you go. Check it out. We don't even need to label each axis to know which is quiet score, which is hospital score. All we need to know is that these points cluster and they cluster upwards and to the right, meaning as one score increases, the other score tends to increase. And again, right click, let's fit a trend line through there. Let's add a trend line. This is a best fit line. And we can see it has its the trajectory we would expect up and to the right as one score increases, the other increases. So as you get better quietness, you get better overall hospital scores. The patient, director of patient services, belief is correct. Number five, last question. Please provide an opinion as to which questions are most strongly correlated with overall hospital score. Okay, this is an interesting one. This is going to be cool. Let's highlight all the data. Let's build up our table one more time. Insert, pivot table, and a new chart. A new tab, rather. Hospital name, question across the top. Average of score down here. And here I want to leave all the questions open. And what I want, though, is overall score. Well, let's take grand total off first. Overall hospital rating. Let's pull that to the very end. All right. I'm going to throw this in another scratch table off to the side. OK, and it, what we're going to run is a correlation matrix. Excel has a stats analysis tool pack add in that you can use. I have it added in right here. It's called data analysis. It's free for everyone. It's just an option you need to enable in your version of Excel. Check out Google for how to do that. But let's pop open our analysis tool pack. Let's go to correlation. OK, it's going to ask us for some inputs. For our data input range, let's feed it everything, all the questions and scores. Yes, there are labels in the first row. And for the outputs, let's place them right there. And all right, cool, there is our correlation matrix. We are concerned with overall hospital rating. So I'm going to bold all these scores. These. This table shows correlation coefficients for one question as it relates to every other question. That's why it's called a matrix. You're getting uh, every question linked to the other. So for example, we have overall hospital rating as it relates to care transition. We get a, a correlation coefficient of 0.85. One is strongly phrase that strong positive correlation zero is a is no 
correlation all the way to negative 1, which is a strong negative correlation. That's how you read, oh, I need to. That's how you read these coefficients in this table. So everywhere you see these ones, that's this question against itself. So of course it's strongly positively correlated. It's it's an identical series it's comparing. So to understand which questions influence overall hospital rating, let's make a quick heat map of these values um, from high to low. So let's do, let's color these. So your greens are gonna be your larger values, reds are lower. So just looking at this, we can see if they if the patient gave a high score, whether they're going to recommend the hospital, they gave the hospital overall rating or the overall hospital rating was good. Next, if nurse communication was good, that tended to be correlated to overall hospital rating. Next, care transition. If the patient thought that was good, that tended to contribute to overall positive hospital rating. The variables that contributed the least are these three in red, cleanliness, people really didn't mind, discharge information, and quietness. That doesn't make sense because we just saw that scatter plot that said quietness was important. Yes, it was important, but not as important as these other variables. At 0.63, that's a decently strong positive correlation, but not as positive as these other factors. So I would highlight these top three greens and tell you those factors influenced overall score the most. Okay, I know that was a little long-winded. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the next video. Talk to you soon.